Hello, my name is Nina, and if you're new to this channel, welcome to Free Nuts and Nuts channel. Welcome back. Today is Saturday, and Saturday means Makeup Saturday. Um, you know, on Saturdays I do makeup, and on Wednesdays I just do random stuff. So if you want to see Saturday stuff, I'll put a playlist wherever on the screen, and also the Wednesday playlist, the cards. Today we're going to be talking about experiments done in the military where it involves drug use. Now, I'm going to be very discreet with my title and everything because I don't want them coming at me. You know who I'm talking about? Warning, disclaimer, we're going to be talking about very serious topics, um, violent behavior, unethical experiments conducted on patients who are not informed. We're going to be talking about violent things and very strong language. Just do if you don't like those type of things, don't watch this video, please. I don't want you guys to be triggered. And like I said earlier, if you want to watch pretty videos, makeup videos that I create, if you fell in love with me in these past two to one to two minutes, um, you can definitely go into the playlist somewhere around here, which I put in the card. For Saturday's video, if you're not so very interested in makeup, then of course you can watch my Wednesday's videos. Let's go. I try to be as close to the camera as possible because I want to be super close and also I want to be able to see because I have my mirror right behind the camera. It's not helping my vision, but um, I also have notes and no one's going to understand these notes because I am a horrible writer. So let's get started. I am blind, so just know that this is going to be difficult for me. I'm trying my best here. But, um, like I said, we're going to be talking about an experiment that was conducted a, a long time ago, probably like around during the um, Korean War, around that area of time. We're conducting experiments concerning with drug use. Um, basically they were curious on how to create mind control or control people's minds in a way using either drug use, um, shock therapy, anything so that the person can be subject to all this beautiful experiments. Um, also, just for you to know, uh, I'm recreating a look that I saw. I'm a ColourPop, so I'm using ColourPop products, obviously, like every week. Uh, that's that's great. Also, I can't see, so I'm probably gonna be using these palette stuff. So, um, back to the story. So, during the time of the Korean War, um, the CIA was very concerned um, with the fact that. Um, the Soviet were able to do things such as mind control because, of course, they, were, um, they felt that they were probably more well, um, advanced because they don't know what's going on over there and they want to be more advanced so they can prepare for war. Now, during this time, of course, the US government did not know what the CIA was doing. This was a completely secret project from the beautiful U.S. Now, because of this, they were receiving funding, but they had to figure out a way to do these experiments without bringing in the uh, government, without the government absolutely knowing what was going on. So they would look for people. Um, um, patients who probably have certain mental health issues, mental health um, concerns, and would take them to a certain hospital. Also, I'm not going to be naming patients nor people here because I don't want to be. I don't want my YouTube video to be removed. I don't know if they would, but 
put her safe and something. But yeah, so they would um, take them to this hospital and they will conduct experiments on them. Um, one of the experiments was um, using LSD and they use LSD and put them into towards trips. Um, and the certain trips that they would go through would sometimes be unsupervised. Now, you should not unsupervise these experiments because of course it's not every trip is good and also the amount of LSD they would give is not good. They would give it multiple times a day. Um, it would be 12 to um, 15 times a day. Um, and they would put them through these trips and they will be on these trips for hours because they would give them so many trips. And now those trips will make you lose name. Also, they would ask many questions during these specific trips that they were going through and um, kind of slowly like put ideas into their heads that were not good. And with this, they will just create, slowly try to control, figure out if they can control the minds of these people. Now sometimes, instead of doing this, they can also do other well, not instead, but they would also do other experiments, such as um, shock therapy, which usually, well, not usually, but most of the time, shock therapy is for people with depression or severe depression and that they cannot um, function. And now, everything is good to a certain extent, but they would shock them multiple times a day. So instead of shocking them, like, for like once every three weeks, uh, they will shock them um, multiple times a day. So two, three times a day until they become vegetables. A lot of different concoctions of different drugs and they would make them sleep. And while they're asleep, they would do this shock therapy. Now they would do it until they have no recollection of anything themselves, not even recollection of them knowing how to uh, use the bathroom properly. And then they would put tape, a tape recording over and over again while they're asleep for hours to see if they can put input into their brains as they're asleep. Now, most of the time they do not remember. Well, some of the cases were that they were talking about were a person they would not remember what was being said into the hair head repeatedly and repeatedly they would not remember any of that and um but they do know what they were going through and they would just continue doing this and most of them did not recover like after all that they did not recover anything that was done to them this will be called the pattern and they're basically trying to keep them asleep. They're trying to make sure that they're removing all memory. And a lot of the times these people would not remember anything that was happening to them during this time. They had no recollection of any of this that was going on to them. So they didn't remember and the big problem about this is that they didn't have informed consent so they did not consent to any of this they just thought they were getting treatment for the mental health issues that they probably came there for there was one case that they could not sleep ever again after that they had to get treatment for sleeping the psycho repeating would be the repetition of audio during their sleep now they would do this for a month one of them said it was about 23 days that they were doing this to them and it is it's to figure out if there's a form a way to like fix a behavior onto a person um sometimes they would say oh hey be more assertive it's like one of the examples that they gave in uh video that I was watching. I'll link the video below for you to see and I'll also put more find more articles for you guys to read if you'd like to read some of those articles to figure out 
to see like what was going on. But yeah, they would do that. And they stopped. Um, supposedly they stopped during um, 1965. But of course, they say it stopped. So we would have to take that as with a grain of salt. We would have to take that as information because allegedly they're probably allegedly they're probably still doing it. I don't know, but it's claim unethical because there's no consent. And also you're shocking people, so. They're also saying that, um, how can a mentally ill person consent to this? And that is a controversial topic as to when do you know it's not able to be informed consent? You know, as the doctor suggests, that a lot of patients even with more severe cases of mental health issues still know how to communicate and still know how to say yes or no to what they have. At the time, it was very difficult to understand mental health and it still fairly is. Not a lot of people understand the concept of mental health and it's controversial to say a lot of these things of mental health and not understanding mental health. That's why it's good to do um, experiments, but which of the experiments would be ethical and what is ethical is the question. Now, of course, today we would not see these types of experiments made to these people because obviously you're creating memory loss and they're not consenting to what's going on. Now, if you didn't know, and I probably didn't say this, they spent 25 years to $25 million in budget funding these projects. But of course, you just didn't know. And to make sure that they continue not knowing, they did. They went to Canada to continue a lot of these experiments. Now, these were Canadian patients in Montreal who were going to this hospital and being drugged. Now, one of these patients didn't even remember that they were with a family member and they were with them for three months. So it was like, oh, we don't know what's going on. We're not rising this. And she was like, she remembers experience. She just doesn't remember that she's been with this one particular person the whole time. Of course, these people did not have any control of themselves. They had no control of what they were feeling and they didn't understand anything they were going through. Now, obviously, um, it's been a few years. It's been since 1965, since the last time they've done experiments, experiment with these type of things, but a lot of the discussion is what is informed consent then they did not have informed consent and they didn't understand what informed consent was now remember this was the cia trying to figure out what mind control can be and how mind control works now they did more experiments than just this these are the experiments that I wanted to mainly talk about. Also, ignore this eyelash that is just hanging by a thread. I don't know what's going on with this one, and every time I go back, it just doesn't want to poop. Anyways, yeah, so. So, the main thing that I really wanted to talk about was what do we claim is connected and what is ethical. Um, at this time, that wasn't something that was really based and talked about. Now we have research and a lot of the research that was done definitely um, changes the idea of what is an ethical practice. Now, obviously, this was not known, and a lot of these people who went through this trying to sue the CIA for these experiments as they have destroyed their lives 
as I said previously, if you want to know more about the information about these experiments and stuff, I will link them down in the description box below. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to do it so far and watch the car wreck that is me. Well, thank you. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and one of the videos is that no? Um, yeah, love you so much and see you in the next one. Also, I hope you enjoy my new intro and outro. So, yeah. Bye. But I've been always, this is a random fact, but I've always been jealous of lips like, like this man's lips. Like, I want them. I, I want his lips. I want them. <laughs>